Hello, welcome to another Travel Tech Reviews. Today we're talking about the Samsung uh, W200. It's a waterproof digital camcorder and it also happens to be uh, shockproof and dustproof. You can uh, drop this thing from about you know two or three feet, shouldn't hurt it. It's waterproof down to 10 feet underwater and uh, there's some dustproofing uh, measurements they use. Basically it it's okay to use it in dusty conditions. I don't know how they measure that. And I should emphasize this is primarily a video camera. It is, it's really not a, a still camera even though it will take still photos. Its primary function is as a digital camcorder. The unit has a 2.3 inch LCD screen on the back which is what you use to frame your shots and uh, the screen is okay especially if you're indoors but if you're in really bright sunlight uh, it just doesn't hold up. Camera shoots video in two different resolutions a full HD 1080p or a 720p both of those at 30 frames per second. Camera as I said does shoot JPEG still images at 5.5 megapixels. There are four different resolution settings that you can set for this camera so that comes in kind of handy if you're trying to save space on your memory card. And when talking about memory, the camera uses a micro SD card, which although not as readily available as the SD card format, uh, you can usually find them at a Radio Shack or Walmart or wherever you shop. Another nice feature is the camcorder does include a tripod mount, so you can mount it on a tripod. And probably our favorite feature of this camera over the competition is it has the pop-out USB connector as opposed to a port. That means you don't have to carry an extra cable with you when you travel. Now, the waterproof doors on this camera are kind of interesting because they do have a rubber seal to keep water and dust out, but they do not have the double lock mechanism that you find on a lot of other competing cameras in this category. So there is a potential, even though it takes some effort, there is a potential you could accidentally uh, deploy one of these doors underwater and that would cause permanent damage most likely to the components of the camera. When it comes to performance, uh, you know, we use this camcorder at the beach and we did test it underwater in about two to three feet of water. It seemed to work fine. Uh, the image quality was good underwater, the video image quality. Uh, the digital zoom is a little jerky. It does allow you to zoom in and out while you're shooting video. Uh, you probably don't want to do it though. It, it, it gives you poor results. And even since it is a digital zoom, when you have it zoomed in, uh, you're getting a lot grainier image. You're not getting as good a quality as you will in wide angle. The one nice, another nice feature is it does have the ability to switch from photo to video with a button right on the camera. That's much easier than having to go through the menus. The little dial has four functions. If you press it on the left side, it turns on or off the display information on the screen. I don't know how useful that is. If you press it on the right side, it turns on or off the underwater filter. And then of course, top and bottom are your telephoto, zoom, and wide angle settings. The big red button in the middle is what you hit to press to go to start recording or to take a picture or to put the camera back into pause. The menu system is pretty well laid out. It's pretty extensive. There are quite a few settings that you can make on the camera. But one thing you can't do with this camera is really set any manual shooting modes. The camera has built-in scene modes that it selects automatically. So basically it's always running in a fully automatic mode. I think for the price, the Samsung W200 is probably, uh, you know, certainly as good as you're going to find in this category and maybe better in a lot of respects if for no other reason just the little pop out USB connector puts it at the top of my list for these types of cameras. Uh, this is a sample on a high-end Panasonic uh, camcorder. Couple of the same lighting, same video on the Samsung W200. Yet another sample of this same lighting conditions, sound, and lighting using a Canon uh, PowerShot ELF 510HS.